and uh, I would like to thank Outlook for giving me this opportunity to talk about my adventures at this place. And uh, uh, well, uh, like I am doing this for like 26 years now, walking the Himalayas. So I'm kind of a Himalayan adventurer, if you can say that. And to put my experiences in 10 minutes or 12 minutes becomes a bit difficult for me. So I would uh, possibly start from where I started, I give you some experiences which have not been very pleasant, which have been very, very pleasant. And uh, as, we, as I talk, you can see some, I'm a photographer as well, so you can see some photo photographs from different treks which I've done in India from the Himalayas, and I wanted to talk about these photographs also, but then I guess we don't have that much time. I might take a day to talk about my experiences or about each photograph which we see here. So <clears throat> to uh, start with, like, you know, uh, it is adventure, okay, fine. So it's like, it's like, it's, uh, you know, like Helen Keller said that, you know, either your life is a wild adventure or it's nothing. Now, uh, I believe in one very important thing is that sometimes when you are, like I'll give you a very small thing from where I started. It's like uh, I was going on a train with my parents to some place and the train stopped in between and I wanted to just get out of the train. I, I was seeing through the window and I saw that, okay, there is this nice mountain. I think it was Igatpuri while we were going to Mara, in Mumbai or someplace. So I thought, yeah, I'll go by foot, see what kind of place is this because I was seeing it through a window. I was not like I was not experiencing. I was experiencing it in a frame. I wanted to go get inside and get a 3D effect of it. So I got down. Yeah, it's different that I nearly missed the train later because I was like really inside and I like tried to, you know, uh, I had to really run in and uh, do this thing. Now this is like way back when I was in school, and like I I'm from Delhi. I studied in Air Force Golden Jubilee Institute in Subodabak, if you know all. So the first trek which was initiated to me in my school was a trek from Dehradun to Mussoorie. We had a nice school trip over there and everybody went by bus. But four of us, including our game teacher, we walked from Dehradun to Mussoorie and we took the jungle route. So now that was the first thing which I did as if you, if you look at an adventure point of view. Like, it was like you were like, you know, going through the jungle, you never knew where you were going, what the nature was, how it was, and the bus went and we were, I think, four hours later, we reached also. And the best part of adventure which I felt at that point was the, you know, the achievement part. It's like you have done something to achieve that. Feeling the place after you have actually slogged it out and you have gone to that place. Now, Adventure is not always about slogging it out and you know really risking it and stuff. There are first steps to adventure. There are things like you just take the first step, like you just get down of the car, walk the muck, and go to the place. That is also a kind of adventure which you can do. And uh, we have, I have done a lot of things like that, and I have walked a lot of Himalayas. And at one point in time, in at near Kanchenjunga base camp, I got also stranded in between the mountain and the avalanche for two nights. I was I survived that because I was on the other side of the, you know, the group and the avalanche fell in between and it was a 30 feet of snow on side and on the other side we had the third highest peak of the world, that is Mount Kanchenjunga. So that was an ordeal which uh, definitely was not very pleasant for me. But yes, when you are into it, you get prepared to do this kind of things. You, you are, your mindset, it's very important to, you know, have that mindset because the difference between ordeal and adventure is the attitude. It is about the attitude, the, the, the attitude which you should have to get into that kind of a thing, to, to embark on such a thing, which becomes so much surreal to you that, you know, it stays in your head throughout. So I always tell people that, you know, why do you want to go in a car? That, a car is also an adventure, a different kind of adventure. But I am like, since I'm a walker, I feel like, you know, every step you walk, every, the journey which you make becomes the destination for you. Because there are two kinds of people who enjoy, you, either you enjoy the destination or you enjoy the, the travel part of it. That is, that is uh, one part of the stories. Second part is that, what kind of mindset do you need to do, get into this kind of thing? Like, if I talk about my, myself, I, 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 like, I was in corporates before and then I, I left it like well, 17 years back, opened my company and I started it. I did my, you know, the courses and all which you generally do, mountaineering courses and everything. But then to get into that kind of a thing where you want to actually do this, you want to really go to the mountains, you want to jump into the water, you want to feel the water, you know, soothing your senses, or you get into that fog which, you know, engulfs your senses, which your body, and you are going through it. You are going through the nature, into the nature, for the nature, for yourself. This is, I feel, the biggest essence of being in adventure, and, and it is it's something which pulls you back. It seriously pulls you back, and pulls you back so much that, 
like I could not survive in a corporate world because of that. Because I was like, every three months I needed a holiday. And obviously nobody's going to give you that. So you are out of it. You're always like, like, you come out of the thing, you get irritable that, okay, I need to get back. I need to do something. That's when I thought that, okay, let's open a company wherein I'm traveling with my clients at least. And I'm sorted there. So I'm doing that. So eight months, I am in the mountains right now. And, uh, and, but yes, another important thing I would like to talk here is when you get into a, when you get into an adventure kind of a thing you you have to become also very responsible because you are interacting straight on head on with nature it is not you're not looking at it in a mirror or in, in a window or something like that it's you are like seriously in it so you have to be very responsible about how you look at it how you take care of it how you you know how you protect it and that is very important that is the biggest issue today i have been you know walking for so long, I have seen the Zemathang Glacier, which is the Kanchanjunga Glacier, retreating two and a half kilometers in 25 years. Like the place we used to actually use, used to use, use crampons to walk on, now we camp over there. It has become that, that bad nowadays. So this is like one of the biggest thing for me to stand here and talk to you is that, first of all, I want everyone at least should take one step towards adventure, should take one step towards embracing the nature while you're on any of your holidays. India is definitely the best place to do this. And I am so proud to be an Indian to have been exploring Himalayas like this. I don't think anywhere you can, you can get this kind of diversity in, uh, if you talk about the culture, if you talk about anything from, from flora to fauna to everything. And also, it's the, apart from the protection part of it, it is also that you have to be responsible towards yourself also. Preparation is one of the very big thing while you get into an adventure. Choose your adventure. There are a lot of places you can go to take your first steps. You don't have to do a full-fledged trek or you don't have to do a river rafting expedition or a climbing expedition or a really go summit something or nothing. You just take, go for a weekend adventure. Just go for two days. Just go walk, explore yourself and understand that what is it to be. People who have not, this is for people who have not ever been into an adventure kind of a thing. Or because I, and I, I, I go for unaided adventure, that is like you go for yourself, go yourself, explore yourself, go through that window. We, from where you're looking at nature, go through that window, jump into the water and feel the water, feel, feel that breathlessness in you and then go reach somewhere and enjoy the beautiful vista which will be in front of you. This is something which, which we, we really have to offer in India. That is the, like the best part of the story out here. And, and out of this, uh, see, this is like, uh, as it's rolling, I can show you, this is the Nubra Valley Bactrian camel photograph. Just after the, uh, the, you know, there was a desert storm, and then this thing I got. This is, this is at Shokar Lake. This is the, how the clouds actually move down in Ladakh at, at, in, during the, this thing. See, this is like a Meccanes gold thing. This is, this is on a trek from Lamari to Chilling in Ladakh again. This is the th uh, Kanchanjunga base camp trek where this is Pandem. It was glowing in sun, in the sunset sun, sunset sun, and we had the tents. And these are all layers of Ladakh and all these photographs. Like, I can really talk about these things. This is the Sleeping Buddha from the like, Kanchanjunga peak from Sandakfu. This, uh, this is the Kanchanjunga from, this is where I got stranded. The white part you see, this is the place where I got actually stranded for two nights and I had to survive and walk back 75 kilometers in a day. So that was, that was seriously something, that was not because of mispreparation or, you know, it was misadventure or something, but that was something which happened. And nature is so unpredictable that you should be always prepared. When you are there, you should be, you have to be prepared with everything. And, and out of all my experiences, I've actually also have, uh, I've made a, like a presentation kind of a thing, which is a time lapse kind of a thing, which is from all the travels which I've done, which includes the uh, Kanchanjunga base camp trek, the, you know, all of the Himalayas and uh, the uh, Spiti, Ladakh and everything. So after I end my trek here, after uh, the uh, talk here, you can see the presentation which will be basically, will take you to the vistas which you get, which you get while you are on an adventure. I, I seriously, uh, since, uh, since I'm, an, I'm an adventure tour operator and I'm, I really want to tell you just, should go for an adventure in life at least once and then it is my guarantee that you will be hooked onto it. You will be seriously hooked onto it. I will uh, right now leave you with the presentation to end it here and I would like to thank everybody for really taking our time and really listening to me with such a lot of patience and uh, you know, I would like to th uh, congratulate all the people who have won awards here and who are going to awards if you have and I will leave you with the uh, video here. Please do enjoy the video. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Right. <laughs>